photo of my son's lover, Steve Kaufman? So now you know the truth. Why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? That your son was homosexual? Gay? A faggot? Which particular way would you like to have been told? I have a right to know. You gave up all your rights when you drove him away. We told each other everything and he told me that you didn't give a damn about him. That's a lie! Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm the only person Danny had left. The only person who cared about him. He was my son! I loved him! But your pride won't let you believe that he was gay. That's got nothing to do with it. Oh no? Then why are you searching through his private things? I'm trying to find out why he died. Well now you can add crime of passion to your list. Maybe it was a lover's tiff. I'm not saying that. Bullshit! You're as bad as the company's families for the future policy. Blaming the nonconformists, the misfits, the deviants. Did you have anything to do with Danny's death? Ha! What do you think? Work it out for yourself. Danny, did you hate me that much? You could have told me. I wouldn't have been angry. I only wanted you to be happy. Devlin, you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. We heard shouting. Oh, shit. How many people heard? Oh, just about everyone. I'm sorry. It's okay. You're going through a rough time. I think I'll turn in. I should get some sleep. Good idea. I'll make sure no one disturbs you for a while. Thanks. Devlin, you better come with me. What is it? Look, it's better if we don't talk right now. Jesus Christ. Returning to the scene of the crime, eh? Guilty as hell. I was told to come here. That's enough, Ward. I can't believe it's come to this, McCormack. Your son's death was an accident, but you couldn't accept that. You had to become some sort of vigilante and execute the person you thought was involved. You didn't even have any evidence. I had nothing to do with this. Ask La Paz. I was in my room. Leave me out of this, McCormack. You've used me enough. I won't be your alibi. In my mind, there is no doubt as to your guilt. But on Cerberus, we do things by the book. You will be detained until the next supply ship rendezvous, and then transferred to the nearest way station so that you could be tried by the company for murder. And that's it? You're not even gonna check anyone else's alibi? Because if I didn't do it, You've got a murderer roaming free. We've got a murderer, McCormack. Ward, take him to the observation pod. It's the safest place to keep him. La Paz, make sure the news of Coffin's death doesn't spread. I want this kept quiet. There's enough unrest as it is without people knowing there's a killer on board. You're making a big mistake, Shannon. My mistake was letting a psychopath into my station. Okay, this is your home for the next few days until the supply ship arrives. Then, they're gonna take you away and fry your murdering ass, you son of a bitch. I'm innocent and you know it. You're a psycho, man, and you're going down. You got that ration pack I give you? Yeah. Can't wait to taste it. I'll check on you every couple of hours, in case you want to piss or something. How thoughtful. Everything in here has been disabled, so don't think about causing trouble. Asshole. I'm sure I can put the barrel of the telescope to good use. Removing the lens leaves me with a metal tube. I found 
want something moist. It's supposed to be a biscuit. Surely I can't be expected to eat this muck. I can only assume that this tastes better than it smells. I'm certainly not hungry enough to risk eating this poison. Okay, let me see. I blocked the only pipe delivering air into this area. The station's central computer should realize that I've got no oxygen in here. So, in theory, the computer will override the security lock. Which means the door should be opening about now. Well, one good thing about automated systems, you can confuse the fuck out of them. Out for a walk, McCormack. Just admiring the view. You should be careful. Don't you know there's a killer on the loose? How do you know about that? Don't look so worried. I didn't kill Kaufman, if that's what you're thinking. And I know you didn't either. How? I was watching your room at the time he was killed. You didn't go anywhere. Why were you watching me? Who are you? Internal security. I'm undercover. I sent you that note. You? So you're investigating Dana's death? Strictly speaking, no. But I figured if you did some poking about, you'd rock the boat a little. And you nearly capsized it. So what are you investigating? I shouldn't really tell you. I think I've done enough for you to be owed an explanation. I guess you're right. Okay, two months ago, the number of encoded transmissions between the Megami Hudson staff here and their main base increased tenfold. They found something, and it's big news. What could they have discovered? I don't know yet. They do research on both the black hole and the mineral content of this asteroid. Could Megami Hudson have been involved in the murders? I've got no idea. It's possible. What are we going to do about it? We start looking for clues. I'll see what I can find out about Megami Hudson's discovery, and you look into Kaufman's death. Nobody knows you're under arrest except Shannon, La Paz, and Ward, so make sure they don't see you. I'll meet you in the supply pod in two hours and we'll compare notes. Good luck. Yeah, right. There are the doors to the elevator. Necessary pass for this. I can use that to call the elevator. That should straighten out the clip. <laughs> 